So I lost my skull and crossbones tie bar, which is an item that absolutely must be replaced. And I looked and looked and looked, and then I finally found it on a uh, site called ties.com, where I also found, hopefully you can see, the pistol tie clip that I have right here. And uh, even though the place is located in a blue state, California, and I, I'm loath to send money to blue states. I had to lift the moratorium just this once because I had it was a must that I replace that skull and crossbones tie bar, and I found this and I had to get it. So, also, if my eyes look red, it's not because I smoke dope. I don't. I just got out of the shower, so I'm sparkling clean. Today's video: Good Guys with Guns. A idiot storms into a barber shop in Palm Bay, Florida in late August and starts pointing a gun at people and then is promptly dispatched by the shop's owner. Get out of my shop before I blow your head off, you goddamn... It's time again for Good Guys with Guns. So the previously mentioned idiot who stormed into the barber shop was shot by the shop owner and retained there until police arrived and paramedics arrived and they administered first aid and took him to the hospital where he was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. He will survive. Um, and it turns out the whole point of this raid, this one-man raid on a barber shop, was because he was dissatisfied with a haircut. And I just can't help thinking, dude, you know, call and complain. Talk to the guy. Go somewhere else. Tell him if he's not satisfying you, you know, too, too bad, dude, you paid for your haircut. It is what it is. I can't put the hair back on and I'm not giving you your money back. Then just go somewhere else. Tell him to F off. Get a haircut elsewhere next time. Do Wear a hat and if you, you really hate your haircut. What anything but raid the place with a gun and start pointing it at people. Obviously a little bit of an unstable fellow and... Maybe this will awaken some help for him and somebody in his family or close friends will intervene and get him the help that he needs. But uh, it was just comical to me that uh, that was the whole thing. He, I got a bad haircut, so I'm going to come at these J-offs with a gun. And then he gets shot. Talk about a bad hair day. And it wasn't the police that stopped this guy from storming this shop and pointing a gun at people. It wasn't Michael Bloomberg in every town for gun safety. It wasn't Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. It wasn't uh, David Chipman. It was a good guy with a gun. Until next time, keep your head on a swivel and stay uninfringed. I'm so in love.